you guys i am at the airport now heading to nigeria i'm happy but at the same time i'm a bit i'm feeling somehow shy but anyway the amount of traveling i've done in the past few days has been stressful but i'm happy hope i'm looking to my gate okay so my gate is this way so i'll carry you guys along Hi. so i've seen my gate my gate is 69 <laughs> anyway my gate is 69 but i don't have to come on this thing because i'm very tired of walking so even though i'm walking on Asia, i was tired of walking Are you happy? I can see if I'm yeah, I am happy. I can I'm going to teach myself. I can see if I'm well, dreaming about well, this or I'm old. Okay, if I'm dreaming that I'm back. Right. Yes. What if this is just a dream? Then I will scream and cry. Oh, so don't <laughs> wake up. Uh... Wee, 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 wee. If you should come and tell me, so what do you miss about me? <gasps> what, what did you miss about me? there i like like coming to your room and asking you <laughs> if i can do but whenever you're not here i cannot even come to your room at all i can't even stay in this room at all Mommy, yeah come down yeah but whenever you're here i can come to your booth and jump like you came to my room to jump <laughs> eh? hi guys so yes i am back well, this one is a lot. So I am back to Port Harcourt. I'm back to Nigeria and I'm so happy. This is Sophia. Sophia, say hi. Hi. Are you happy to see mommy? Yeah. You're so happy to see me? <laughs> so yeah, I'm taking Sophia to school because today is pajama party for her class for they are early years so today's pajama party so she's going to school and she's also going to be celebrating her birthday in school because her birthday is actually on the 12th but you know they are going to be most people will not be in school by that time they're even having their christmas party on friday that's tomorrow so i feel like after the christmas party it is an unwritten rule that the school is over so there's no point me waiting till 12 to celebrate her birthday nobody will be in class so last minute i decided to just do it today in school i, I didn't even get cake because i already booked cake for for the 12th so i can't even she's not going to have cake in school it's just See, I would have just cancelled this whole thing. It's not that I've already bought some of the things for the party pack, okay? I bought it a while ago, so that's why I am not cancelling it. But yeah. Such a Such a beautiful. Which thing? Let me see. Come now. Hello, my hand. No, it's your skin that is peeling. Yes, I've been back for a few days now. Um, but I just couldn't vlog or anything because I was just busy, like, trying to put things back in order, trying to check out so many things and i also went to the market i went to supermarket went to market like i had to stock up the house and all that you know christmas is coming so i had to like buy stuff because <laughs> i don't know how much things are going to be in the next few weeks so i had to just go to market and do like christmas shopping but i couldn't vlog that either because i was so busy you guys like i came back sick a little bit sick not so sick Sha. like i came back with pains in my ribs and then I, I've been feeling feverish for the past few days. So I actually booked to go and see a doctor to do. I booked my appointment, everything, but I couldn't find my card. So now I'm just like, basically, I've missed my appointment for today, but I'm going to, I'll go to another clinic tomorrow. I'll go to that, my doctor's clinic. You guys know the person, like, if I say I'm going to my doctor, just know who my doctor is. Anyway, I'll go to my doctor's clinic and just go and get checked out there but yeah i'm so glad to be back i'm so happy to be back my kids are so happy cora was telling me that please next time i should not go away for too long because whenever i'm not around it feels like a part of her heart is missing like a huge chunk of her heart is missing and i was like oh, oh my god cora is so emotional eva did not say anything like that eva was just very clingy i just noticed that she's just extremely clingy just holding me climbing on my body staying on my body to sleep and stuff like that Sophia, that one, Adi dude, Adi dude. <laughs> she has been giving me attitude, like, she has been nice to me, funny enough. So she has feels so grown, she feels so mature, like, she's talking more mature. She's no longer throwing tantrums like she used to throw, 
But if I just talk to her sideways small, she'll start giving me attitude as far. You've not been around since, so now you've come back. You want to come and start telling me what to do. But anyway, they are so happy to see me and I'm happy to see them. I'm happy to be back home. But something strange has been happening to me, right? I mean, I've traveled before. I've traveled out of the country before. I've traveled to nice places before and I've come back. And I was just okay. But after coming back from Canada, I started feeling like Nigeria is just too dirty. Like... <laughs> I felt like my house is I can't stand my house like not not because of actual like let's say you know dirt like maybe paper or you know um trash on the floor whatever no like things like mold things like spirogyra in some places that from certain smells I'm like what is this you know so I've been a little bit irritated let me not lie since I came back I don't know if it's because I stayed long yeah I think it's because I stayed long away from the house so a lot of things that I normally would insist on, I wasn't around to insist on it. So that's one side. But the other side of it is that I'm coming from a country that is very, very cold and dry and everywhere is very, very clean. So coming back to Nigeria, it's like Nigeria is just like, ew, like everywhere is just disgusting. Even on the road, it's, disgust it's disgusting. <laughs> then another thing that happened to me again is that police stopped me yesterday, you guys. And for the first time ever, like since I have been in Nigeria, police stops, stops me and extorted money from me and initially i wanted to start with gra gra i started with i know my rights i know my this i know my that okay because the truth of the matter that if i wanted to go to the end of it i would have come out i would have won because i i didn't do anything wrong all my papers are complete it was just a particular paper that they said i didn't have and that particular paper according to people that are doing paper paper documents people that do paper documents they have not started issuing that paper yet that's what they said but you know anyway you guys know how these things go with nigerian police so initially i wanted to show myself you know but my husband just told me see just settle it and it was a woman actually if it was a man i've, I've i mean i've had incidences with police officers that are men once they just stop me, in fact, I've never really had a police officer stop me. That's to be honest. Like most times, it's just men that will just wind down. Good afternoon, sir. Or they'll say, "Oh, good afternoon." You can go. That's it, right? So this particular one just irritated me and it just made me so angry. I was like, "I, I just arrived. I just arrived." <laughs> I've been saying I just arrived since, but seriously, I just arrived. Like some things are happening now. I'm just like, "I, I just arrived." Like, like. I just arrived please anyway yeah i'm all good now happy to be back happy to be back home there's no place like home anyway but i miss my sister i miss my my niece and my nephews like, i miss my brother i miss my sister-in-law so much this period is the longest i have spent with my sister-in-law like long it wasn't even that long it was just two, two days like two days two days in her house before i went to my sister's house two days in her house before i came back to nigeria so you know but we spent more time than we, we've ever spent and i love her so much i just i miss her i wish like we can just spend like one month together or something like that but anyway and yeah i'm sure somebody's going to ask me is this my hair no it is not my hair it is a wig okay it's actually a full wig like this is the lace front it's actually a lace front wig but i just tucked it in and pulled it back a bit so that's why if I raise it up, you can see the lace. But if I put it like this, you can't see the lace, okay? So, oh, come on, this camera. But anyway, I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah, this is not my hair. This is a wig. And that reminds me, the wig I wore to Canada, that natural hair looking wig, like straight, kinky, natural, blowouts. I keep getting requests about, was, where do you buy this wig from? Where do you buy this wig from? I got it a lot. In fact, I could have put out a video about, oh, my dog just died. And people will ask me, where did you get your wig from? <laughs> Anyway, so I got that wig from. How did I just forget that? No, 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 no. Oh, I got that wig from Love Me Hair. And you guys, when we do hair reviews, when we do wig reviews, please try and watch. I think God begona. Try and watch these videos, even though I mean you don't want to buy a wig or whatever. But try and watch these videos. In fact, since I started my channel, okay, basically since I started doing wig reviews, any wig you see on my head. I have reviewed it on my channel okay so that particular wig I reviewed it on my channel I reviewed it the week of my birthday because I wore that wig for my birthday photo shoot that's what I bought it for I actually bought that particular wig right I bought it and I reviewed it on my channel okay so please you guys should just try and watch our wig, wig reviews it helps us I mean you know with the views and with the numbers to try and attract more um, sponsors but aside that okay aside the helping us part it will avoid you, you know, asking me over and over again where I got my wigs from because just note now that any wig you see on my head, eh, I have reviewed it on my channel. Even wigs I buy with my money, 
I have reviewed them on my channel, okay? The only way you'll know that I didn't review, the only way you'll know that I wasn't paid for the review is that I would not put a customized link to the wig in the description box, okay? Because normally when we do wig reviews, we are giving links to put in our description box for people to click on and go and buy. But if I bought the wig by myself, you will not see that customized link. But I'll tell you where I got the wig from, all the details about the wig, okay? So just go and check out that video. If I can remember, I'm going to link that video below so that you guys can go and see all the details and buy. Um, but if not, just know that it is from Love Me Hair. It is their kinky blowout wig. Um, it is five by five inches um, pattern with afro edges okay so yeah but you just go and watch the review and you'll get more details about the week including i think i don't know if i said the price there but you'll find out everything sha. but yeah um i just got back in i went to drop um sophia in school i'm back home now i'm feeling sick so i want to go and lie down small but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>